What's up, you beautiful people? Nameless here, bringing you guys a brand new video. Now, the videos have been popping lately. I appreciate each and every one of you. The COD season is well underway. It's time for our prediction video. Let's go through them because I know you guys are building your pick -em, So, uh, let's see what we got here. So, this is week two, match number one on Friday at three. We have Florida Mutineers versus the New York Subliners. The Mutineers are still struggling really, really hard in hard point. Um, we saw them have a closer hard point. Uh, the veto strategy a little bit weird. They go to the Mercado S and D that we saw in the last one. And then also, uh, didn't ban with their three and all Mercado S and D. They got rid of it, which didn't really affect them because they won the search, but then they got, they played Mercado hard point. I don't know. They won a match last week. It looked great. And then will it's birthday. Maybe they had a few too many cocktails at the restaurant and then they decided to come in with a weird veto strategy either way. Uh, I think they still do well in hard point here. I think the respawn prowess on the side of mutineers is a little bit too strong. Uh, we saw that mutiny or the, uh, excuse me, subliners, the mutant, the respawn prowess on the side of the subliners, a little bit too strong, right? Let me get my words right. Uh, and we saw what Hydra was able to do in that match versus Thieves. That Fortress comeback was unreal at times in a gauntlet across that series for New York. And they just bounced back, which is very impressive. I think they take this in a 3 1 fashion. I could actually see this go into game five, depending on how vetoes go. Uh, Florida may be stealing a control, but. Definitely not a hard point, but I'm going to stick to my guns here. 3-1 New York, uh, and let's move down. Optic Texas versus Surge. Now, Surge got thunderclap, bro. Molly whopped by Atlanta phase. Like, 1-2, ish, ish 3-0, smoked. I've never seen them get beat that bad in my life. Uh, Simp had a crazy streak. Um... I just don't know what's up with Surge, man. So we've seen it last year. At times they fall into like these dips where they're just like, look like one of the worst teams we have. And then they're back on top. Um, I do think that this one could be very competitive though, uh, given the new optic and the nature of all that pressure there with Scump's retirement. So I'm going to go three, two optic, but just because of how bad Surge looked, but that easily could be, you know, a Surge win as well. Like that's the, a question mark to me. Uh, so we'll move on. Uh, Toronto Ultra versus the LA Thieves, an amazing match. If you missed that match back at Major One, you should go watch it. These guys had went toe to toe, a three one victory for Ultra, but like the hard points were freaking sick. Um, I'm gonna go Ultra though. I think Ultra just in a better spot right now. I think Thieves can push it doing Game Five. We see bright moments. Uh, the slaying was a little bit better in this series, but uh, just falling apart towards the very end. I'm not quite sure exactly what LA Thieves' problem is. The fundamentals look solid just dropping at times when they shouldn't be. So uh, maybe it's just, you know, some COD timing things going on, some philosophies on how to play certain situations that aren't, uh, you know, meshing within the team or putting them in like these great spots in game because obviously they had control of the map many times uh, and fumbled when they played New York. So uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, little things for sure for Thieves that they'll have to clean up, but they always start like this. All right, moving on to Saturday. That's done and dusted for Friday. Uh, Vegas versus Boston. I'm gonna go Vegas. I think a 3-2. Uh, their s &D looks way too strong. Um, Boston in that series versus Optic had some decent moments, but also had some really bad moments. I think Vegas takes both of the s and and steals a hard point in this series. Um, the Vegas just look great. They're vibing. Their momentum is there. Uh, and, you know, Clay is playing the best he's played in a while. Uh, everybody there is turning up pro loot. Some really big moments in Search and Destroy. You're getting the pro loot that you've wanted all season long. And when you have a guy like that, who's like a search and destroy specialist and is hitting their stride, you're just going to keep winning those, bro. Like you really are. Like they're ahead by a lot in that game mode right now, uh, as opposed to some of the other teams. So I'm going to go Vegas 3-2. Next match, we got Royal Ravens and the Thieves. I think Paul X is coming in for zero, not officially announced, but we saw the Reddit post of zero. Uh, if you haven't, go to the COD competitive Reddit or like just type in Trey Zero on Twitter on um, Paul X. Uh, I think zero is going to challengers and Paul X is playing. Either way, I'm going to go Thieves in this one. 3-1, Ravens just... It's gonna be some time, man. Like stick to it. They gotta stick to a roster. They're not extravagant, like extravagantly good at any game mode. So I'm gonna go with Thieves uh, over Ravens. Uh, next next match we have is Optic versus Ultra. Now it's hard, like I said, to predict matches. So my pickums on the day of might be different, but to predict matches after, you know, before we've seen the first match. But in this video, we'll see if my pickums are right. Uh, Optic versus Ultra. I'm gonna go Ultra. Ultra's nasty, man. I think they have a really good two and a week. They beat Optic in a three one fashion. Uh, just a more sound team. It's going to take Optic a little bit to get the swing of things, but, you know, Optic's a definite threat that can pop off in any mode. Uh, but Ultra, I think they're the stronger squad. And then we have Rocker versus FaZe. 
phase 3-0 uh rocker uh you know tough spot they win that last match by no means was a dominant uh honestly they probably could have lost it uh still not great at search and destroy offensively i mean they won that fortress snd but like still search i just don't have a lot of faith in this team i think they need to fix their offense completely uh they're like 18 percent winning offense which is worse than league by a landslide this is a team that has to be good at search because they are not ever going to be dominated respawn it's a lot of things to work out in the rocker camp uh and then legion versus ravens i'm going legion uh three two just because the nature of the way legion play uh, i think we get a big hard point out of a seam honestly if there's a team that's going to take an snd off of legion i think by the way that ravens play somehow they could take a search off them because the way legion plays is plays usually sniping they have some aggressive plays out of pro loot and tj uh if pro loot or tj drop first then it creates some problems for the side of the vegas legion uh a lot of their plays are made early game early round rather and i think like uh the the way that asin plays is sort of counteractive to that if he gets going he can find some make some problems for the vegas legion so i think it's actually a gritty game just because of the way these teams match up uh but i think he goes game five and vegas close it out with actually maybe taking more respawns than snds in the in the series um moving on we have rocker versus lag uh i think that i think that this is a close game because of like the veterans on the side of minnesota rocker lag uh not being an incredible search team but being a very solid respawn team um which both these teams not being great at search could like make for a very weird search um and i think rocker probably take uh maybe a control rocker's been a solid control team at least on a silo i'd have to look at the vetoes to see uh how this one to go down i just have a feeling it's gonna go uh three two towards uh lag we'll see i i'm not confident in that. you know what actually nah i think it's gonna yeah i think lag is gonna win i'm not confident in that call at all bro i gotta see rocker like i really have to see rocker i feel like they're super inconsistent uh, and then Atlanta phase versus the New York subliner. It's an absolute banger of a match. Uh, I'm going to go with three, one Atlanta phase. I mean, they just looked unbelievable in their match versus the surge. And I think going up against rocker is another easy win for them. They're going to have so much momentum. They're going to feel like they're on top of the world. And that's what I've been waiting out of a BZ and simp is to just fly and chow everything once again. And they did that. So I think they take a three, one, uh, this week. And that's my predictions, man uh not too many upsets in here they have a couple legion upsets which we know there's gonna be more upsets than that either way uh we'll see how it goes last week wasn't as good i think this week my predictions will be better though uh much love to you guys make sure you guys like comment subscribe let me know how your pickums go let me know how they went last week um and we'll see we will see man but this is week two it's gonna be an absolute blast let me click save here and i'm locked in baby so i'll catch you guys uh in the recap of the weekend peace